Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play, Shin Megami Tensei 2 for the Super Nintendo, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this was originally supposed to be the 8,000 subscriber special, and then I cleaned out my sub box to delete dead accounts or inactive ones. So I decided to, since I removed over 400, I would do this as a 7,500 sub special instead. As for the original 8,000, I'll plan something else, but it won't be a tournament. Now anyways, this game takes place 50 years after the events of the first one, where the neutral story was supposed to end. Several decades after the Great Destruction, while cultivating the wilderness, fighting off packs of demons, and through countless deaths, humanity survived. But people were not strong enough to survive without someone or something to cling to or rely on. The Messiah religion preached the advent of a savior, gathered together believers and built a city on the site of the old cathedral. You know, that massive maze we gone through in SMT1? I hated that place! This city came to be known as Tokyo Millennium. I like it, it looks futuristic, got a pyramid and everything. Looks well designed and hopefully it doesn't suck like the cathedral did. So yeah, this one, the seven I mean the eight thousand subscriber tournament beating out Legend of Dragoon in the finals. I guess everyone liked the original SMT one, they figure you why not do the this one too? Yeah, I'll do a new game. Hey! Wake up! Ah, this is Okamoto, he's some kind of gym trainer. Hey! How long are you planning to sleep? Hawk! Get up already! Hurry up! You made it all the way to the tournament finals! Well, at least they made the dialogue text bigger. You can't start slacking now! And don't give me any bullshit about not being capable! I may have been the one that saved you when I found you getting attacked by that demon, but I could tell right off from the way that you were fighting that thing that you were unnatural. Especially the way you were able to hold your own despite being in that drunken stupor. Don't give me that face! You better be glad I saved your sorry ass. And remember, in your test run through the Virtual Battler, you not only made the high score, but literally went through it unscathed. That's skill! Don't be forgetting that I was the one that paid for that run! After all, you couldn't even remember your own name when I found you. Who else would have taken you in? And you make a hell of a gladiator too, thanks to me of course. Hawk's a pretty cool sounding name for one too, don't you think? Ah, this formerly studentless old man's luck has finally turned. Anyhow, until you win the championship and get us both out of this hellhole, no slacking. I'm not gonna let that asshole Henny to show me up any longer. Crap. Sorry about the rambling. You got me though? Uh, yes. You get your ass up and start today's training! Okay, so I get the option to leave, which of course he will not let me do. But I'll save first, just to go over it. Resting oneself is an int integral part of training. Take it easy, kick back, and get rid of that tension. You know, you could have given me a better looking bed, don't you think? Luckily you start off at level 6. Yo, Hawk! Wake up! Yeah, I slept well. So I guess now I gotta do the training. Go and do a run through in the virtual trainer. Okay, Hawk. Ready, set, go! Okay. Okay, now the thing about SMT2 compared to its predecessor is you actually know what areas have encounter rates. You look at that, in that little meter right above my name, that tells you there's going to be encounters. If it was blue, then you get none. Green, they're rare. And like red or yellow, it's high. Not to mention, you just press the L button, you go into your map. Sure beats the original, where you had to actually go through your computer and then go to the map. Okay, you can auto-recover using the items you have. You can set a marker on the map if you want. And you can actually like save like several amounts. 
like several files, like up to eight. And the auto mapping, that allows you to go into your map if you don't want to press L, and I don't know why you do that. And config allows you to change the uh, normal, the battle message speed, the auto map. I can change it to fix or free, I'll leave it at fix. Auto battle norm or last, I don't really care. Item magic sort, keybind, party panel, I don't really care. Now controller setup, you know, and I'll just leave it as is. But at least it's more convenient compared to the first game. A lot convenient. Of course, some of the layout is still the same. Alright, so that's my stats. That, that seems pretty decent. I'll live with that. Okay, luckily, there's hardly any harm here. This is just a virtual trainer. Don't even bother recruiting demons, because obviously you don't have the ability to do that yet. And plus, all of the demons here are dark, so you won't be able to talk to them anyway. Also, it's full moon automatically. So in other words, you'd never be able to talk to them in the first place, even if they weren't dark. Okay, so I'm taking on a shiki zombie dog. Yeah, I'm killing dogs. But then again, they're already dead. I'm just re-killing them. So I would say they didn't do a good enough job dying as is. Ow. You know, if the walls were like red instead of green, I feel like I was playing the virtual boy. Okay, let me auto this. I'm not going to worry about the damage here, because it's quite weak. There. That was easy. The experience here in the training room is very good. Akuryu Poltergeist. Oh, we got a surprise attack. I mean, you're better off going with Otto, because you only have, like, one thing to do, and that's using your sword. You don't have a gun equipped, and you don't have any magic. So what's the point of just going into manual? Okay, when you get to the end of the training room, you fight a Shiki Zombie. This one takes a little bit more effort, but you should still be able to win. And let's auto this. Ah, I level up! Okay, so what stat am I gonna level up? I think I'll go with... Strength. Okay, good job. Stop there. Um, thanks for the support. Yo, nice job there. Okay, so let me save so I can rest. Yeah, you'll just say the exact same shit as usual. There. And plus, I get my HP back. The good thing about this little trainer is you can actually go back anytime you want. So if you want to level grind without leaving, just go here. Of course, you won't get much out of it. But, hey, it gives me some money. Use it for the public virtual battles battlers scattered about town to train yourself. Okay, so let's check out this town over here. Seems pretty neat. The scientist working at Madame's Manor was up to something no good, I hear. Hmm, interesting rumors. I'll have to follow through on that. Hey! You! Young man over there! Come here! No, over here, to your right! Stand here before me, and listen to what I have to say. Then your eyes will be opened and your path will become clear. What, I'm just a standard fighter, but okay, I'll come enter. Hey, baby, what's up? I shall clear your worries when you have lost your way and guide you to the correct path. Is this the first time that you came here? Uh, yes. Very well. I shall tell your fortune for free. Hmm. <laughs> deep, deep within the recesses of your soul, I see a name. A woman's name. She is very important to you. Can you remember her name? Well, this gives you a chance to name the heroine, but I'm not going to do that. You cannot remember? 
Then I shall tell you this woman's name. Her name is... Hiroko. Well, that saves me a lot of trouble. Hiroko! Do not ever forget that name. Don't worry, I won't forget that what's-her-name. Her fate is inexorably entwined with your own. Damn you and your complicated words and your small, even more complicated words. Nice outfit, though. I wish every woman that is involved in any kind of job wore that. Welcome! What will it be? Uh, I'm gonna have a chat. I'll talk to the dandy man. I hear some guy saw a guy in a wheelchair while virtual battling. That's not supposed to be part of the program. Uh, huh, guy in a wheelchair. Seems awfully familiar. Let me talk to the crazy lady. Good luck in the championship match, Hawk! If you win, I'll do whatever you want me to. If you get my drift. Man, I've always loved someone to, to build a barbecue for me. That was pretty much my one dream. Uh, old man. You're a hawk, aren't you? You sure you can afford to be wasting time in a place like this? Um, yeah, I just picked up 200 Maka. The upcoming championship match is going to be Red Bear versus Hawk. Word on the street has it that Red Bear is probably going to win. Eh, we'll see about that. I could have a drink. It'll boost my stats for a little bit, but after a while, you turn into happy status, and that's not good in battle. Oh, the virtuals. Let me check them out. Welcome! This is the virtual battler. You too can be a hero in cyberspace. So, what will you do? Eh, uh, explain it to me. When you play the Virtual Battler, we will hook you up to this virtual reality station. And in the virtual world, you can fight demons. Except for the fact that you won't die if you lose. It's exactly like a real-life fight, so it works quite well for combat training. You can use it to gain battle experience, but keep in mind that if you use any real-life items while training, you'll lose them for real. Game over is either when you run out of HP or defeat the level boss. Being able to win by beating the boss is pretty impressive! So, you understand? Uh, no, can you explain that again, but this time with all your clothes off? I'm just kidding. Virtual battle. Okay, so it's gonna cost me 20 maca for level 1. So be it. This level is a cinch. It should be a breeze. Okay, I, I will enjoy myself. Okay, here there's no enemy encounters. Wait a minute. Stephen Hawking, is that you? Something crossed your path up ahead. Uh huh. I guess I have to follow that guy. Hi, I'm not a demon. I am a person just like you. And I came into this virtual battle so I could meet you. My name is... Call me Steven. I'm here because there's something I want to give you. Here, this is my demon summoning program that I wrote. You can download it to your ARM terminal directly through the virtual interface here. There has been an... incident, and because of it, very soon, Tokyo Millennium here will most likely be overrun with demons. The leaders of this city have been suppressing the demons for a long time, but they can no longer hold out. At this point, nothing can stop the demons from entering our world. Unless we learn to live with the demons and use their power, we humans will never survive. Therefore, in preparation, I have been giving this program to everyone that looks to be able to summon and use demons. I don't know who you are, nor does it matter to me. All I can tell is that you are powerful. And thus, I am giving you this program. That's eh, all in the name, I guess. Of course you would give it to someone named Hawk. I mean, a Hawk is not a weak person. Very well. I am glad that you understand. I shall upload the demon summoning program into your arm terminal. 
Use it well. Screw that, I'll use it however I want. I hope you use this program with forethought and moderation. We will most likely meet again. Here in the virtual reality of the virtual battler. I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye for now. And that was it? Yeah, I enjoyed myself. There was no level boss, though. Not that I'm going to complain, because at least I got what I wanted. Okay, there's some places I haven't checked out yet. Oh, let's see if I can buy some armor. Ah, I can't sell anything to you! What with Okamoto being as poor as he is, everyone knows he doesn't have any money. Tell him to return the thousand Mac I lent him. Uh, no. You can go screw yourself. So sad to say, I won't be able to buy anything here because, well, these guys have a little issue with Okamoto. Do I have anything to appraise? Probably not. Welcome. I'll identify anything you have for 10 maka apiece. You don't have any items I can identify. Come again. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna exit and just have like a battle or two. The map system looks a bit more refined. Okay, so I can have battles here. I just wanted to get out of the friggin' full moon phase. So I'm gonna see if I can recruit a demon. I should be able to fight one here. Ah, it's a poltergeist. Not a demon I can recruit. Well, at least I get some magnetite, which of course the demons use for energy. The music here is pretty nice, I like it. It's actually a little better than the original SMT1 overworld track. Well, the first one, anyway. Okay, I should eventually run into one here. There we go. Ah, damn it, it's a Shiki. I was hoping to run into a demon I can recruit. But at least I'm getting the experience I rightfully deserve. Actually, I think there's a better spot over here. Like in a back alley. Like here's a good spot. Come on, give me something I can recruit. Damn it! Damn it, they're using force on me. That's not good. And they're all using force! Yeah, so safe to say, I probably won't be recruiting any demons yet. Oh, I have to go around this. Okay, and it's full moon again, so what's the point? Well, was full moon. So if I really want to, like, go back and heal, I just gotta head back to Okamoto's, and there we go. Not the virtuals. Not the bar, of course. Uh, no way, that's the fortune teller. I was already in there. Junks, I'm not gonna get anything. Disco, I'm not gonna go in there later. It's weapons. When buying things in a shop, you can choose what you want to buy by pressing up and down. And change the quantity of what you purchase by pressing left and right. This way, you can buy and sell everything you want all at once easily. Thank you for breaking the fourth wall, woman. What's the point of that? Oh, there's the casino. Not going there yet, either, because I obviously don't have much money to bet. Okay, where is Okamoto's to again? All sorts of people go to the bar to kick back and relax. If you're looking for information, the bar is the place to go. Funny, because I was already at the bar. Ah, the gym, of course. Yeah, I'm back. Spacing out quite a lot lately. Have you gone back any of your memories? Just don't pull that shit in the Coliseum! Yeah, don't worry. I won't give him an opening. Besides, I'm gonna do a fair bit of training. 
Alright, so I'm going to start the video right here. I was hoping to run into a demon that I can recruit in this first video. But unfortunately, it just wasn't in the cards. But anyways, next part, we'll just go about what I need to do and train and get ready for the Coliseum. See ya, everybody.